Hello world, I'm Nick, and in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can generate random words in C Sharp using a library called Cryptic Wizard. Random words can be really useful for lots of different use cases. It could be that you're generating seed data for an example database, you just need some random data for some prototyping, or you might be actually trying to embed some words into custom passwords or tokens, things like that. I'll also talk about how you can use this library to recognize whether words are actually Actually words. Before we get into all that good stuff, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me bring you lots of great new .NET content. The library that we're going to be using, so it's from a developer called Cryptic Wizard, and we're specifically using their random word generator. And it's quite well documented. It's uh, supported for .NET and .NET Core. Uh, and as it says here, we can use it for things like username generation or random word stories. We're going to just install it through the NuGet package manager. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this get word method to start with so that we can explore the library in a bit more detail. So first things first, I'm going to head over to tools and I'm going to click NuGet package manager, manage NuGet packages for solution. I'm going to head over to browse and search for cryptic wizard. There we go, and we they, they do have several different libraries, but we want the Cryptic Wizard Random Word Generator. Uh, so as you can see, that has no dependencies specifically, uh, but we can just go ahead and install that. I'm gonna just take the latest stable version, head over to our program CS, and at the top, I'm just gonna put using Cryptic Wizard. So we've imported that library into our console application. So let's just take a look at that first method that we were talking about on the documentation, which was the get word method. We're gonna use this to just create some random words. So the first thing I wanna do is create a word generator. So I could initiate an instance of word generator. It's part of the random word generator uh, type on Cryptic Wizard. And this gives me access to lots of really useful methods. So I can say word generator dot, and then I can do things like get all words, get a pattern, get parts of speech, all this good stuff. We're interested in get word. So we're just gonna say, give us a word. So there's an overload for this that we can use where we can say that actually it is a part of speech. So you can see here, it accepts no uh, parameters unless we use the overload where we can say, uh, specify that this is a specific kind of speech. So by that we can say, it's an adjective, it's an adverb, it's a noun or a verb. And so you you might have seen these usernames that have been generated on things like, I mean, back in the day, Xbox Live, for example, they used to, uh, I don't know if they still do it now on uh, Game Pass, but they used to generate these sort of really weird usernames uh, if you wanted them to, uh, that would usually be like an adjective followed by a noun. And so we could do the same thing here. You know, if you wanted to just generate a random username for somebody, uh, you could say, okay, let's combine two words. The first one being an adjective, second one being a noun. So let's just do that. So let's just get an adjective first, and then we can build up to uh, building a, a sort of mock of that Xbox Live username generator that we saw if you're as old as me. So it's an enum, so I'm gonna say part of speech dot adjective, so A-D-J. Because this outputs a string, I want to output into a variable. So I'm gonna call this random adjective. Okay. So let's put a breakpoint here and run the console application. And we'll take a look at random adjective, see what it's actually instantiated to. Of course, we got muffled. Nice, so we'd expect that if we run that again, we'd get a completely different uh, word. So let's just double check. So I'm gonna run the console application again. And this time we've got memorable. Now I'm seeing a lot of M's. I just wanna challenge that and make sure that we're not just creating words that start with the letter M. And we're not, we're seeing lucky there as well. So. The library is able to look at a database of words. Um, I mean, this is just me surmising at this point, and it's able to randomly select one based on the type of speech that you've specified. Obviously, if we remove that parameter, it's still legal. We can still do that. So if I run it again, we'll just see what word we get. It's not necessarily an adjective. We get influence in that case. Uh, so influence would be a verb. Yeah, influence is a verb. Um, but it's not an adjective, so I'm going to put back in that parameter so that we say we're just going to get an adjective. And then 
I'm pretty sure you can see where I'm going with this. If I wanted to say random noun, so we can get the second part of our username with the adjective plus noun, then we can say the same thing again, word generator dot get word, word generator part of speech noun. Okay, so we'll take a look at that. So we've got an adjective again, which is unaware, and we've got a noun, which is cloud. So the username generated here would be unaware cloud. And then we could say, get a random set of numbers. So you've got unaware cloud, one, two, three, four, five. So let's put the last pieces together. So we'll say generated username equals random objective, in fact, let's not concatenate this. I'm going to use string interpolation because it's just my preference. So I'm going to say in here, we're going to put the random objective. Then I can just put a space and random noun. There we go. So let's have a look at what usernames we get. So we've got simple, <laughs> simple slippers. That's pretty good. I don't think that's a bad username, to be fair. Let's do it again. Ajar Twine. Nope, no idea what that is. Zealous. Zealous News. Very sinister. Okay, but you can see where we're going with this. You know, we can use this library to generate just lots of random, uh, random words. And, you know... It's quite normal to use lorem ipsum for just dummy data in a web page, but you know you could use something like this if you wanted to, or if you wanted to just do something a bit different. I guess the overhead might be a little bit over the top for generating it on the fly, um, but you know it's an option. Now we've only been getting one word at a time here, but we can actually get multiple words if we want to with the you guessed it get words method. Uh, so I'm also going to say um, var some adjectives uh, and then I can do the same thing uh, but instead of get word it's get words so we also we can just specify a quantity if we want to so we could just say give give me 10 adjectives but just like before we can also say word generator dot um, part of speech dot adjective and then we can say 10 so that's quite useful if you want to just throw you know a number of words on the table and then maybe pick one at random again from that from that selection so i'll just run that and we'll just see that in action and there you go we've got all these different adjectives some of them are quite negative actually we've got we got uh, loud unacceptable vain corrupt <laughs> yeah be really interested to do some sentiment analysis on this. Now, the other stuff you can do with this library um, is check words, and you can validate some text. Now, I find this really powerful. I think this is really useful in terms of identifying if an input is actually counted as an English word. Uh, you could also use it to identify if a word is a particular uh, type of word. So, for example, you could say, is dog a noun and you would hope that the method returns true. So what I can do here is I can say um, incorrect word and then I can do a check on that and say word generator dot is word and then I'll slightly misspell something. So let's pick a word. I should have just used one of the random words. Let's use corrupt. That was in the list. So corrupt and then I'll just stick uh, an, an E on the end. I mean, I don't think that's an English word, but you know, we'll soon find out. So we're expecting this to say, no, that's not a word. Uh, so I'll run that console again. And you can see, there we go, false. Now we can obviously just validate that again by making it correct. And then just saying, yeah, so that is a word. Um, so I should have named that variable a bit better, but you get the idea. So then we can also do the same thing by checking to see if uh, a word is a particular kind of word. So as I said, dog is a noun. So we could say dog is noun. So that's a Boolean result equals word generator dot is part of speech and then dog and then word generator part of speech. Now run this. 
get to the end, and indeed, a dog is a noun. So I think this is a really cool little library. It's very simple, uh, but it's very performant, and sometimes you just need some random text. Uh, I used it recently when I was creating tokens, so I didn't need it to be like super secure. I just needed to generate some secret phrases that could be stored somewhere for validation. Again, didn't need to be super secure. Just want to caveat that. Um, and um, yeah, I was able to achieve that by just generating some random words with this library, uh, and then also creating some random bytes. Uh, so um, you can use you can actually create random bytes in .NET very easily, and I just surrounded the word. Uh, with uh, the bytes that were generated, encoded as base64, which allowed them to be represented as a string, and then I encoded the whole thing again in base64. So it just gave me a random uh, set of gibberish that could be used to identify something if needed. So how about you? How do you generate random words? <laughs> Do you generate random words? It's a bit of an odd use case, but I'm sure it's there. If it's there for me, it, it must be there for other people. Uh, have you used this library before? If you have, let me know. Of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, so that I can continue to bring you lots of great .NET content.